Hi, and welcome back to the Stack Tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to use question tests. Now, it's important to test that your questions are working correctly. But this can be tedious, especially if you have a lot of random variants. So for this, we have the question test functionality. Go to question tests and deployed variants. In the last video, we used this window to deploy 10 random variants. Now go to question tests and click add a test case. Here you can specify an input as well as the expected outcome for that input. The input is evaluated before it's sent through the test. So that means that you can use some input that students won't usually be allowed to use. For example, TA is a multi-letter variable defined by the teacher, which means that students can't use it in an answer. However, it evaluates to a perfectly reasonable expression. For TA, we expect a score of 1. The penalty is an amount of mark deducted for each incorrect attempt at a question. You specify it under the general section at penalty. By default, it's set to 0.1. For TA, we expect no penalty. The answer note is a name given to an outcome in the potential response tree. If you go to your potential response tree, you can see that under each node and each outcome of that node, there is an answer note. By default, this includes the name of the potential response tree, the name of the node, as well as the outcome of that node. So for TA, we expect to pass the first node, which checks for equivalence, go on to the second node, which tests for factorized form, and also pass that one. Now click Create test case. You can run the test case on all the variants by clicking on Run all tests on all deployed variants. You can then see for each variant whether it passed or failed each test. Let's add another test case. I now want to check a test case for a failing input. For example, if the student integrated but forgot to add a constant of integration, they should get a score of 0, penalty of 0.1, and they should fail the first node and stop. Let's run all tests on all variants. You can see all tests pass. As a final aside, I want to show you a piece of testing that's best done manually. Preview your question. Now we've talked before about input that's forbidden for students. For example, we talked about the variable TA, which is a multi-letter variable defined by the teacher. So it's not allowed by students. It means they can't even submit their answer if this is included. However, standard functions like sine and cosine are allowed. It may surprise you to hear that the function int, which we used in our question variables, is actually allowed for students. So they can simply ask Maxima to solve the equation for them, and it will actually be checked as correct. This is a bit surprising at first, but makes a bit more sense when you think of some questions that expect students to leave answers in this sort of unevaluated form. This is definitely true in a lot of differential equation questions. For this question, we don't want to allow students to do this. To fix that, we can go under input and under forbidden words, we can add int. Now, just like TA, students will not be allowed to have int in their answer. You can also allow words that are usually forbidden here. That concludes this tutorial. You should now be able to use question tests in Stack.